Hey guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. Um, I showed you a dashboard, uh, dashboard before, Dashboard X, uh, which allows you to add widgets to your home screen. Um, so I just, I, again, I have the NC settings on here. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of, the, of NC settings and the capabilities. Uh, as you can see, I have it set up. Uh, I have AirPlay here on my home screen, and then I can swipe to the left, and I can, I can change the ones that I see. And then when, when you get to the end of that, it just swipes the next page. So when you catch the end of it, you can see the page start to go. Um, jump into your NC settings here on your extensions. Scroll down here. As you can see extensions, there's a, some, 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 some custom toggles. So I have a different color theme here. So I can just go to my default theme. I think it's more of a clear theme. But then they also have uh, custom themes you can download and uh, download as well from Cydia. So back up here, my toggles. Um, you can see I have the order that I have them selected, and you can also set ones that are off on the bottom there. You can see that that I have uh, auto lock is off, so I can grab brightness and grab it and bring it down to the bottom and have it off. That's a pretty useful one to have um, towards the top. So you can you can move these around, have Wi-Fi if that's something you're going to use, or VPN or power, those kinds of things. If you toggle your Bluetooth on and off a lot, you might want to have that on there. So if I back up here, and then you can also set your themes. Again, that was the blue and the default that I had on here. Volume, you can have it do the automatic volume or just do the audio video volume when you adjust that. Toggle text is that text you see that flips in between. Um, when you hit Wi-Fi on, it pops up and it tells you Wi-Fi on in case you might not know what that toggle button, you know, the little icon means. You, you might pick the wrong one by, by chance. You can also adjust uh, between four and eight toggles per page. So if you set it at 8, I would just be simple to set it at 8 and then pick the 8 most that you use and just remove the rest of them so if you don't need auto-correction and, and uh, everything else and just bring that number down to 8 so that way you don't have a have a stuff to swipe to go to further ones. They're just the most 8 commonly ones you use. Um, and also you can reset all your settings back to the standard. Uh, you can support the developer, JamieD360 on Twitter. Um, there is no button on there to to do the respring, which I I recommended to them. So I just I just go into spring demise or something else. I don't have SB settings on here. I kind of been have been using this uh, NC settings lately in place of that. So as you can see, my order switched around now. AirPlay mode was for first before now it's third, and Bluetooth on there. So if I press Bluetooth again, it will show the toggle between there with the text saying this is what's happening when you do that. Again, mute on, mute off. Uh, and then if you select something that has a slider, like a volume or brightness, so you hit that, and then it just automatically jumps out of it. Let me hit the volume here. Again, you can see it just adjusts that. It jumps right back to the front, front screen. Other than that, I uh, just recommend adding, adding a respring to this. This would be the perfect uh, SB settings replacement. Uh, you can just press, long press, you can place it wherever you want on your home screen. Uh, landscape and portrait mode have a you can have a custom location on each mode on whichever screen you have it. So if you have it on this this screen, and then no matter when you come back, it'll always be here. Even if you add, if you, if you get to the point where you have more icons on on this screen, then they're just gonna it's gonna be over the top of it. So you kind of have to be diligent at least until um, multi or not multi icon. Uh, but until grid lock is available so that you can have spaces basically so you can have that whole top row empty and then your first icon here and then just have this at the top that's how i'm going to have it once once they figure out how to get grid lock on uh, ios 6. other than that uh, be sure to check us out at ipad jailbroken on youtube and subscribe to our videos and you can also check us out at ipadjailbreak.com thanks guys